Good morning, from Oman. I'm here with a friend, and we decided to take this trip and do something a little bit different. We decided to try adventure camping. And as you can see, it's going quite well. We're here, Oman. A country no one really talks about. It's been called the Switzerland of the Middle East because it's safe, it's beautiful, and it's also perfect for a road trip. This was our plan. Open Google Maps, pin some places that look cool, rent a 4x4, and go. Some of the places we found along the way were the most beautiful campsites I'd ever stayed in. And we were the only ones there. For example, this pink beach, covered in tiny little shells. Here's the GPS pin if you ever want to stay there yourself. I'll be giving you them all along the way. This adventure starts right after this though. See that left turn? We went right instead, and that's where we'll pick this adventure up. Right here, in quite literally, the middle of nowhere. We're lost. Not the first time today, it won't be the last time. So here's the thing about sand dunes. Here, come look. So there are trails here that crisscross the desert, but these things move. They're not alive, technically, but they do flow with the wind. And so there was a trail here at one point, but then in the past, I don't know, week, two weeks, month, it was blown away slash covered in all of these moving sand dunes. So uh, we have a quarter tank of gas, which is enough, but we have all the water and food we need for a week. This is all about an adventure. And sometimes we like to try to do it ourselves. And when you do it that way, there's always just a little, little bit more adventure. Tell the camera, Eva, how have things been going? Mm. So we were kind of hoping for an easy route out because we, you know, we had a really nice night camping out on the beach. Everything was perfect. And then we were like, okay, let's follow the same route back. And then we just made the wrong turn at some point. And that's why we're now, oh my God, next to really big rocks like this. Really sharp rocks. Really sharp tire breaking rocks, but I'm, I'm not gonna jinx this. So I didn't have this part figured out. Oh no. See, there's dunes over there. Dunes over there. What do we do? I don't know, actually. So we had to continue up that ridge maybe? Yeah, we did. Okay. Okay. We got our, whoa, ouch. Not a good spot for bare feet, Mike. Look at these things. Literally razor blades. It doesn't sound good, Mike. <laughs> no, that's that crunching. Oh, there's a big rock here. Shit. <laughs> it's not big anymore. Did you hear a boom? No, sound? No, no, <laughs> no, no, no. <laughs> Should be. Oh my God, that doesn't feel good. <laughs> but look, look at the road. At least, at least we can drive on this now. And so there's little faint tire tracks, see them? Uh-huh. Okay, <sighs> onwards we go. Oh, there's two sets of tire tracks. Oh and my one God. one set of camel tracks. <laughs> Camel tracks being especially useful to us right now. The road eventually led to a camp. Okay, after a lot more driving and a lot more confusion, we found a Bedouin camp with some locals. Hi. Assalamu alaikum. Al Haluf. Ah, oh, oh, okay. <laughs> He's Pakistani. 45% of the population of Oman are expat workers. This guy took care of camels in the middle of the desert. It's one hell of a job. Mm -hmm. This is our map. We'll get there. <laughs> Thank you, my friend. You're... No, I'm not here. He insisted he come Hello? show us the way. I met my Tagaiga. Uh, you? Mike. Mike. Huh? Mike. Mike. We paid him with what we could. We're not sponsored, by the way. <laughs> what are we doing right now? Dune bashing? I guess so. We're trying not to get stuck. <laughs> We're happy to announce that we are not lost anymore. We have found the way. We have filled the car with petrol. We have filled our tummies with food. And we're about to embark farther south. I found this. Guys, I've never actually seen one before. Any guesses? I'll build a few 
moments of suspense. It's a whale skull. Whoa, cool. Okay, back on the road, back on the adventure. Let's rewind for a sec. We started this trip in Muscat, the capital, and now we're on our way south along the coast to the much greener city of Salala. The drive takes days, so we found another spot that looked cool for camping on Google Maps, next to a strange island. We called this place the Moon. The moon was windy. I've never seen a landscape like this before. It's definitely very lunar. And look at this little pillar sticking out of the ocean. There is nobody else out here. It's like the moon. Just these dusty peaks. I can't even see a shrub. There's no birds. There's no bugs. Just us and our tent. You know, I've been Boy Scouts for 12 years. Yeah, we're not gonna use though, uh, those skills today. Let there be light. Let there be light. Let there be, let, let there be, let. Oh yeah. Then something unexpected okay. happened. I have a wide angle lens on right now. But I can switch here. We just saw it happen again. Look at the full moon. It's almost like a sun. And these giant spouts of water just go up out of the ocean. Now from the ocean. And we think it's whales. We think it's whales. <laughs> Whoa, no, there is a hole. That's what we saw from the shore. <laughs> wow. <laughs> it's so loud. <laughs> yeah, it's just scary. Go stand next to it. So don't put your face over it. But. <laughs> but that's what a whale sounds like. It's a blowhole, right? Whoa! <laughs> well, not quite a whale. Okay, listen. If I had to pick between the Dilla Caribbean beach and the rough ocean, <laughs> I'd always pick <laughs> the rough ocean. <laughs> <laughs> We found last night's whale. <laughs> there it is. But over here we have the spout that we saw. That was the noise. But I don't think the tide is high enough entering the hole. All the way down, see the rushing water down there? Okay, look, here's how it works. The waves come in, enter these little alcoves. There's a tunnel going from the ocean to here and... Boom. Not quite a whale. Still pretty cool. We left the moon and we headed south. Massive cliffs back the shore here. The drive was incredible. After a couple hours, we found this place. There was no name, no signs, just dunes, camels, and iridescent silver sand. But our plan was a cliff beach campsite further south, one that looked wild. And it turns out, well, <laughs> you'll see. Uh, let's go, Grill. <laughs> oh, oh no. Yeah, you deserve that, you awkward piece of tin. Oh god, you're hard to carry. Oh, some things we can water. Here we go. Okay. <sighs> There's our car, there's Eva, 
and just over this crest, you'll see what we're talking about. Look at this. <laughs> oh my God. Let's see if we can make this our home tonight. It is a slice of paradise. A private cliff, a private beach, and dinner. Look at this, we have stuffed peppers with feta, onions, garlic, mushrooms, tomato sauce, rice, oregano, and sweet potatoes with butter and cinnamon. I'm hoping they're gonna be good. Will it ever? I'm the cook, I'm biased. Is it actually good? Yeah, it's delicious. I mean, your camera's on. <laughs> it's delicious. It's super delicious. You can taste the nutrients in this. See this? See that crumbly feta? Right next to that juicy sweet tomato goodness. <laughs> this is food porn. Mm. What else would you need? <laughs> it's amazing. Good job, Mike. <laughs> Thanks. <laughs> <laughs> The next morning, featuring oatmeal. Good morning. There's these little black birds that are very curious. Wondering why there's two pink monkeys up here making oatmeal for breakfast. So the plan today is to enjoy this beautiful view because damn, I can't get enough of it. And see this little ridge right here? Right there? You can walk along that. This. There's a walkway built into one of those little ridges and we're gonna find that path. Following this kinda sorta path down to the two hidden beaches here, there is one path that kinda winds up and joins into these ridges. Whew, all right. We made it at the end of the beach. It is gorgeous. Wow. Here are the cliffs, like a giant layer cake, and there is a small path that kind of winds up this cliff. And then up here, you can see that some people have placed boards. So I think you walk along the boards on the edge of the cliff. Sounds right up my alley. Let's check it out. Assalamu alaikum. Assalamu alaikum. How are you? Good, how are you? We, uh, this, is your, this is your workplace, no yeah? <laughs> so we're here just exploring the, the walkway and we met some Pakistanis <laughs> who actually, we thought they were making a tourist route but we're so far away from where tourists would go anyway that actually they are <laughs> making an animal road so they can bring, I'm assuming, goats and things through uh, behind the beaches to another place to graze And they're from Lahore! They're from Lahore! <laughs> <laughs> if you uh, didn't know already, Eva spent a lot of time in Pakistan. I was there a few months ago as well. And Pakistanis are some of the friendliest people on the planet. Building a walkway for animals. I never would have guessed. But what a place to do that, right? The last thing I expected to find there in the cliff was a couple Pakistanis building a goat path and inviting us for tea. We couldn't stay though. We had to blast back north as fast as possible to stay in a place that I have been dreaming about since day one. In the middle of Oman, there is this. Nothing. Nothing for hundreds of kilometers. Though once you arrive in the north again, you'll find mountains and places like this. This is Al Aswad Fort. I think it's from the 16th century, but honestly, I can't find much information about these places online. Many say ghosts or jinns live in these ruins. The scariest part for us? Smile. Not tripping and falling in the dark into the ancient well that was the center of the fort.
two, one. That'll work. <laughs> yeah, that'll work. <laughs> Would you like to demonstrate how to throw dust properly? Cinematically. Cinematically. Dramatically. Adventuringly, yes. Okay. Go for it. So you throw it in the air and you jump in. Go for it. Go ahead. Do it, do it, do it, do it. The northern mountains of Oman are breathtaking. The next site I made a whole video about. It's a 500 year old abandoned cliffside Airbnb in the mountains. We'll skip that, right? Because you've already seen the video. Reporting in from somewhere deep under the mountain. This Airbnb, this Airbnb, <laughs> can't even speak, <laughs> has been a little bit more than we expected. Yeah, so anyway, we head to our last campsite which is a hidden beach on an island we had to kayak to. And it had a surprise. We were supposed to be here at 3 p.m. We were supposed to be here at 3 p.m. because the tide was high. And now it's 4.30 and the tide is way down there. Which means we gotta carry the kayak from here all the way somewhere over there. <laughs> kayak number one, attach to kayak number two, I think, yep. Adventure girl in the front who's gonna be the power. The role of the front person is to be the power. <laughs> I am the steering. Dun, da, da, da. Got it. Let's make some waves. Cool. It's like a million dollar yacht, maybe he'll tow us. <laughs> Will you tow us? Please. You're rich. We're rich in experiences, right? And muscles. And muscles. What time is it? Ahoy, matey. Ahoy, matey. Aye, aye, captain. Ahoy, matey. Oh, who lives in a pineapple under the sea? I don't get this pop culture reference. <laughs> Absorbent and yellow and porous is he. I have no idea what he's talking about. <laughs> Sponge, Bob, square, pants. camera's a little wet because we are splashing a lot back here. Maybe this girl in the front splashing us. Hey, I'm, I'm not not pointing any fingers. I'm pulling, I'm putting in all the work. Yeah, okay. yeah. Okay, come on, tell Kill. yourself that. <laughs> okay, so there we go. Okay, okay, okay. So there's a beach here. Boom. You see it? That's not our beach. If we go around this point, <laughs> there is the small little cut. This one. See it? Oh man, with this private little island. This is home for tonight. <laughs> and here's home. We kayaked in around the bay and up in that nook because the water will rise up to about this point. There's high tide. We'll tuck ourselves in there. Enjoy this incredible sunset that's about to unfold and hopefully a bit later. This was a bioluminescent beach filled with glowing plankton that lights up at night. After the sunset, we jumped in the water. <laughs> this is a lot. Oh my god. <laughs> well, Oman officially has the coolest beaches. I'm not sure which one of these campsites is the best one, but we've seen some incredible things. And that's it.
that's the end of the video. Campsite six was right here at my feet. We've now packed up. We have to take these kayaks, whew, go along the bay. And I'd love to know, we'd love to know which campsite was your favorite. And let us know whether you'd love to go adventure camping as well. You might know this girl by now. It is Eva Zubek. Hey. I'm Mike Corey of Fearless and Far. And if you haven't subscribed yet, you should do that as well as to this girl right here. Chase your fearless dragons and I'll catch you in the next video in the Oman series. Also, a massive shout out to Latitude Expeditions who allowed us to use a vehicle for a week. That one, right there. And coming up in the last episode of the Oman series, Eva gets deeply uncomfortable. <laughs> oh my God. In the very first Chase Your Fears Challenge.